Chicken pot buns. I've been sitting on this idea since February when I first discovered how to make beer rocks or by rocks. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I finally got my butt out to the garden, harvested some veggies and got going on the dough. While making these beer buns, I'm gonna call them buns. While making these buns, be careful not to add too much flour. Add the last two cups of flour a quarter cup at a time. I only added three and a half cups of flour to this batch and I needed to add about a tablespoon more of milk just to get it to all come together in the end. After it's all kneaded up, let it rest in a bowl until it doubles in size and that's when you want to get going on that pie filling. For me, it's carrots from my garden. Chop up some celery from the garden. Chop up some kohlrabi and peel it, of course, and that's from the garden too. Chop up some beans. Those are, of course, from the garden. And some onion, but that's not from my garden. Get the pan going hot and sizzling with some bacon fat. Sprinkle in a little bit of salt. Chop up some garlic from the garden and crush up some black pepper. Keeping these flavors pretty simple. Chop up some sage and rosemary. Gotta get those aromatics in there. Those are from the garden. And roast up a chicken that wasn't raised by me, but was raised by my parents. Throw in that whole stick of butter because we're looking out for our health. Some chili some garlic powder, a little more salt. Start off with a little bit of flour, not really making a roux here, but you know, thickening it up. Throw in a pint of homemade chicken stock, roll out those buns, chop up those buns. Well, roll them out, I guess I turned it into a log. Now, roll it out, let them proof so you can actually roll them out easily. Put in approximately two tablespoons of filling inside there, and I did add corn. That was from the freezer, that corn wasn't from my garden. Let them almost double in size, brush with a little milk so they get more golden on top. Throw them in the oven, bake them up, I think I learned two lessons here. The first is not to sit on a recipe for months, and the second is that the chicken pot buns are quite nice. Oh, that's quite nice.